And this is why we say that it's very important for us to utilize whatever we have to spread the deen. Moments ago, I was speaking to a few friends and we spoke about how today people say, for example, that you see, why is it that you're making use of these social networking platforms to spread the deen? It's not a madrasa. You're not supposed to be doing it. My brother, my sister, I agree with you. It is not a madrasa. But have you ever gone to see the statistics of how many Muslims are on there? Have you ever seen the Muslim countries, how many people are on there? And they refuse to come for Jumu'ah. They don't go to any madrasa. They don't have any dose of any form of spiritual words besides that which comes on the social media. So we are left with no option but to get up and save them through that. Just like if I were to tell you, my brother, for you to touch a woman who is not related to you is haram. But if she is drowning in the ocean, for you to go and save her is farad, compulsory. And at that time, you will not just touch her. You will hold her, you will grip her, you will bring her tight to you and swim ashore. And her husband will probably say, Jazakallah khair. Why? It's farad. I see the youngster smiling, waiting for the day. <laughs> this girl is going to drown, I'll be there, inshallah. Look at how we think, mashallah. <laughs> so, the point being raised is, sometimes there is something that might not be ideal. And it would not be permissible sometimes if the situation was ideal. But when we are drowning and there are very few people who actually know the extent of the drowning of the masses, then we are sometimes faced with the better of the two evils. And we are forced to engage in something. Like I said, if I were to ask you today, how many of you utilize social networking? I think if we would have to word the question the other way around, how many of you do not utilize social networking, we'll get very few hands up, very few. One community, I asked them, how many of you do not utilize social networking? Nobody put their hands up. Nobody. Which means, well then, how many of you arrive early for Jumu'ah and learn at least 50 minutes or to an hour of your deen every week and nobody's hands went up? So now where do you get your deen from? You are going to use your phone. You are going to use the media. You are going to sit in front of the television. Come what may, I'd like to think perhaps more than 90% of the people seated here would probably have access to some of this or all of it, if not some. And you will be using the internet and the applications and so on. If there is nothing Islamic on it, because you are, that is your source of education. So where do you get your religion from? Now who do you blame when the whole religion goes? You can't just sit back and say, well, the media and everyone must give up their phones and everybody must give up this and that. We tried saying that in the past, that give up this and give up that, only to see that the number of televisions in the homes has multiplied more than a hundredfold in the last 10 years. Look at how much money the same Sam we were speaking about has made. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. May He open our eyes. So if we are going to use everything, then it forces people like us to look further and to say, okay, brother, we will not use it as a social networking tool, for example, or a television as in creating a movie and so on and entertaining people just like that but educating people solely for the pleasure of Allah to increase their Iman because that is the only outlet that they actually have made use of to this particular day or in this particular time. This is why we say the media, it has a powerful impact. So much so that today, if you go back and search Google, he is called Sheikh Google because people ask him Islamic questions. And so many people have said, you know what? Well, if you're not going to tell me, I'll just Google it. I'll just Google it. Sheikh Google. Wallahi, he's called Mufti Google also. <laughs> he can issue the fatwa for you. My brothers and sisters, it's a reality. And if you were to search what happened in some of the countries where turbulence occurred, 
and governments were changed, they will tell you it's through Twitter and Facebook. That's what they will tell you, social networking. If that is the power of the social networking and the media today, and if we have seen in front of our eyes, it has changed the minds of people or made them move, motivated them, given them direction. If we are not going to give Islamic direction through the same media, we have lost the battle.